familiar with Florida. Um, when you see the video, you're gonna be like, oh, he's trying to turn, like, that's his road. You kind of turn into the Hard Rock Stadium. Um, Passerby's filmed him being thrown to the ground, put in cuffs, and people were wondering what the heck was going on. This is the video that was filmed by some people. So, yeah. No, it's actually Tyreek. Oh, yeah, so. He was, you also see a Rolls Royce pulling over. Apparently, he's one of his teammates. Apparently, this was earlier in the morning. You know, they play at 1. I don't know what time they they have to show up at the stadium, but, yeah, they were showing up. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Anyway, there was other videos that kind of showed him not only in cuffs here, but it showed him on the ground. Um, and, yeah, it it kind of, yeah, it, it, it kind of yeah, looked like the police were being super heavy-handed with him. Um, I remember yesterday when I was talking to either, what was it, uh, AJ or Aiden, I, I specifically said, listen, everybody know I love, like, I love police. I'm the type of nigga, not only do I believe in sec Second Amendment rights, that I could protect myself legally with weapons, but I'll call the cops on you too. And, and that's for any and everybody. So I am somebody who support using law enforcement, okay? However... Um, I do think there are some bad apples in a bunch. So I think I'm a fair and, uh, and, and neutral arbiter when it comes to this. I'm not one of them niggas like, fuck 12. You get what I'm saying? But I'm also not one of them niggas that says police can just do whatever the fuck they want, especially the people of color, because we do know it's a slippery slope. It could go any way where you see crazy tragedies happen, like the Sonny Massey thing. Anyway, I did say I wanted to see the body cam because this looked crazy. Like, like this looks r r crazy here. Um, he also... He also, um, he caught a touchdown. He was making some gestures like he was putting his hand behind his back, sending a message. He later did an interview uh, or like a post-game interview talking about what happened. Tyreek Hill, post-game. Yeah, he talked about quickly what happened. Yeah, he did this, like simulating him get arrested. And he well, talked about this. With that guy or guys would have been, you feel me? What if I wasn't Tyreek Hill? Lord knows, like, what that guy... So, so his, you know, he, he was talking about the the arrest. Oh, uh -huh. uh, no, that's him talking about football. But he essentially said... Um, right now, you know, so I've been, I've been trying to figure that out, too. I've been trying to figure that out, too, man. Right now, I'm still trying to um, put it all together. Um, so I'm not going to give you um, a version that I still don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do want to say, I do want to be able to use this platform to say, like, what if I wasn't trying to kill, bro? Like, worst case scenario, you know? Because it's crazy. Like, I want to be a cop one day. I got to stay true bad, all that, you know? So I got a lot of respect for cops, man. But um, obviously, you know, everybody has bad apples in every situation, you know? So um, I, I want to be able to, you know, use this platform, you know, to figure out to figure out a way to like flip this and you know make it a positive on both ends on my end and then also might be day you know now what's interesting to remember he's the biggest star pretty much damn there um on the team he plays um for the dolphins so he's in that area and you would think that the police if anything they would probably be giving a pass to like the players if, even if they were doing fuck shit because that's the hometown team Obviously, those police officers are getting paid overtime to work the stadium. Like they're if the perimeter is the perimeter of the stadium, they're getting paid overtime money, which is usually a lot of fucking money, right? Like more than their normal cop money, like just doing patrol in the neighborhoods. So that way we can team together and you know do something positive for the community because that's what it's all about, bro. Like um, you guys are here to like protect. Okay. Anyway, uh, the body cam footage leaked, and um, I want to hear what you guys think, and I'll give you my opinion after we watch the whole thing. Here we go. Now, I, I gotta, I'm sorry, you know, I always do, do the pause and shit, but um, it appears that they pull up on him and they're knocking on his window hard, right? That guy, I, I don't think he has a body cam on, the one we're seeing right now in the footage. 
So I guess he puts the window down and he's saying, bro, don't be knocking on my window like this, right? My boy is in his McLaren. You know what I mean? He's looking clean. He's about to go get like three touchdowns at the game. The stadium's in the back over here, by the way, right? So he's like, what the fuck? Why are you knocking on my window? Like, like, what the fuck? Like, you know, there's a way you could get someone's attention, tell them put their window down without banging like you're about to try to break a nigga window. So he says that to them and looks like the police, you know, instantly feel like he's challenging their authority. And um, you'll see what he does next. Now, he puts his window back up. And, um, you know, I, this is the only body cam footage everybody's using right now. We don't know if, like, the, the they said, like, license and registration, and he gave it to them, then put the window up. But regardless, you know, I did see some people who, who made the point. They're like, yo, you can't expect a cop to let you put up a darkly tinted window while they're on a traffic stop. Nigga, you could be pulling out a gun. You could be doing whatever. Now, granted... We could use some, you know, common sense and be like, that's Tyreek Hill. Why would he do that? But, you know, for the people who, you know, think about cops during their normal duty when they're not dealing with a celebrity, that's just not a, a thing that would they, they normally allow. Like, bro, we don't know if you about to go put a gun, do some shit. We, we want to be able to see you, right? Um, so they start banging on the window and let me play. Keep your window down. Question. Question. Honey. Hey, keep your window down. Keep your window down. I'm gonna get you out of the car. As a matter of fact, get out of the car. Give me, give me your ass. Get out of the car. Give me your ass. We'll break that freaking get window. Get out of the car. Get out of the car right now. We're not playing this game. Get out. 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 Now this nigga definitely ain't getting no box from his wife earlier this morning, man. This nigga been on ten. What part of God don't you understand? Hey, Drew, hey, Drew, I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting arrested. Now, it appears he was on the phone with his agent. Drew Rosenhaus is a very popular football agent. That nigga, is, he's gotten money off all these popular athletes. So I don't know how. I'm getting arrested, Drew. I'm getting up, bro. God dang. Wait, my mic is low? It's because I'm not shouting today. So Okay, okay. If my mic is... All right, I got y'all. <clears throat> Sorry, Chad. Twin. When we tell you to do something, you do it. I'm you understand? Up. I'm up, you bro. understand? Not what you want, but I'm, what we tell you. I'm You're a little out. fucking confused. I'm getting out, bro. Too late. Yeah, bro. Too late. All right, bro. Take Too me late. to jail, bro. Do what you gotta do, bro. We are. We will. Good, good, bro. It is good. Hey, hey. Don't hey. no worry about it. I hung up the phone. Can you stop crying? Bro. <laughs> Y'all. Don't move. Good. Bro, you beat on my window like you crazy. Hey, don't park there. Don't park there. Hey. Now the Rolls Royce is one of his teammates who clearly, you know, recognizes his car and pulls over. <laughs> Now, they're telling him to have a seat on the curve, so he's telling him, chill out. Just give me a second, you know? Now, if you don't know, and he's going to tell the cops, he's an athlete, but he had, like, some type of foot surgery before. So it's, it's taking him a second, and he's not trying to also go down incorrectly to get injured. Of course, his livelihood depends on his ability to stay healthy. Oh, bro. I just had surgery on my knee. I just had surgery. On my knee, bro. I just had surgery on my knee, bro. I just had surgery in your ears when we go there with the window down. Bro, chill, bro. Hey, Joe New, bro. Back up. Hey, call, call Drew, call Drew, call Drew, call Drew, call Drew. Hey, call Drew, call Drew. So he's telling them call, call my agent. Bro, call Drew, call Drew. Hey, call Drew, bro. Hey, what? Hey, call Drew, bro. Just call Drew. Hey. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hey, hey, listen, hey, man, they got Tyreek. Hey. The cops over here beating on them, listen. man. They over here beating on Tyreek, man. Listen, big man. man, don't park there, man. Just get in hey, the yo, car. Hey, Drew, you gotta come, man. Just get in the car. Right up, right up the side, on the side of the aisle. Uh, hey, get in the car. You're parked at the middle of the street. 
I'm in the car. You gotta go before you get a ticket. Hey, I don't, I'm in not the driving. car. I'm not Who's the driver? This is my car. All right, move. All right, I'll take that. You gotta move right now. Coming, Let me have your license. You're gonna have to get to. I'm coming. Let me have your license. You're gonna have to. Let me have your license. I'm leaving. I'm not playing. Let me have your license. I'm leaving. Yo, what's your going license on? right now. What's going on, your man? license right now. Hey. You're not gonna give me your license. Hey, 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 hey. You're not gonna give me your license. Leave. I'm leaving. Let me have your I'm license. Leaving. Your license I'm right now. Sir, hey, your license right now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Or I'm gonna lock you up. Your license right now. He just told me to. Your license right now. You're dealing with me now. Your license right now. Now I ain't gonna lie. Hey, and, and, and as I said, I'm somebody who in many situations when people getting at the cops, I could see the the nuance to it because I understand they got to do a job. These cops are tweaking, right? I'm going to be honest with you. This is kind of one of those really textbook ex textbooks examples of cop sees black man, nice car, jewelry around his neck and instantly feels offended by any action that doesn't submit to their authority. So what they do is they escalate it to a point. Now you're getting taken out of the car, slammed on the ground, sit on the curb. This guy, he's pulled over like, yo, what's going on over there? Okay, I get it. They tell me, yo, yo, you got to get out of here, whatever. Then the, the one guy says, get out of here. This guy comes over like, nah, you about to get a ticket. Like, yo, this is extreme abuse of power. This is like really disgusting, to be honest. But I'm going to be honest with you. I, it's You have to be happy that this happened to Tyreek Hill. Because at least we're going to get some follow through with this where we're going to have to hear what the police chief is going to say, what the mayor is going to say about this. Because in reality, the way how these dudes are acting, and this is another thing, too, with all due respect to these these, these police officers. If y'all if y'all ever watch police officers when they encounter men like other men that is physically superior to them or that looks bigger than them taller than them they usually instantly it's almost like fear and it's kind of like the problem with policing right this is what people say a lot about like white cops in black communities when when a, when a cop is in fear they go to their instinctual training of trying to get control of the situation but sometimes that gets violent and that could result in somebody dying the mere fact that this dude is a football player issues no threat. He's not like approaching them. He's not doing nothing. But the dude is like 6'5", right? Big ass nigga with muscles. All of a sudden, you get this damn cop who's turning the fuck up now. Like he's almost trying to, you know, he he's trying to make it a situation that he has to use some type of force. So it's kind of sad because, of course, if it's not Tyreek Hill, I think nothing comes out of this. Or it might even get to the point where somebody dies. So, again, uh, apparently this cop, I don't know if it was all of them, but apparently this cop in particular got put on administrative leave. Let me see if I, I could. Uh, police administrative leave. Tyreek Hill. They're going to investigate the whole situation. Um, however, I got to be honest with you. Uh, you. You know, again, the difference between like a good cop and a bad cop is not like a cop that just blatantly breaks the rules. It's like a cop that realizes that even though you have a gun, a badge, and you have certain things that empower you as a police officer, your job is to de-escalate. Like this ain't like about ego and trying to out-thug another person or out-tough that other person. Like your job, most of every police job, policeman job is serve and protect. So you're supposed to try to de-escalate. You're supposed to be like, yo, what's going on with you? Like, well, why are you, why are you, why are you, if, if you're dealing with somebody nervous, you're supposed to try to get them to calm down. You're not supposed to be the hot-headed one. So yeah, th these guys either need some um, retraining or, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure if they did this broad daylight while you're working a detail at a football game and you're working a detail at a football game and you're seeing people in expensive cars that look like football players. So they probably play for the team. If you're emboldened to do it to these guys, I guarantee you look up in this cop's history. We'll probably find a bunch of other super hyper aggressive actions that he's taken probably of uh, probably against other people of color or people that look taller or bigger than this guy like these guys look like they're about like five seven five eight 
and look like, you know, they're probably quick to use that gun, too. So gladly nothing happened. But, um, yeah, nah, this shit was fucked up, you know. Uh, definitely, I stand with Tyreek Hill for this, 100%. These cops are tweaking, right? Yeah, these things look like, they, 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 I don't even know why they were trying to tweak out like that. So one guy's like, y'all break your windows, like, whoa, relax. 